Okay, I'm going to finish up the pattern I worked on till 3.30 in the morning. Uh, I need a name. It's strange, but uh, I'm just going to call Dreamcatcher Hoop. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, let's see if we can get this more sized out. And we can scoot this over. More. I don't like that. Alright. All right. We're just going to leave it there. We'll go ahead and bring down the font size just so it fits a li little better. There we go. I was up till 3.30 in the morning working on it and I got to a point I said ah, I'm pretty satisfied except for this one piece so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and add a shape <coughs> excuse me left mouse click make edible this will give me the option to move things around I'm gonna go ahead and whoop, I did not want to do that let's make it like this make edible let's see everything goes up to the top except for that one bring it over there that I think we're going to go with that. Blow it up a little bit so I can get a good look up at it. Bring that down just like that. Yeah, it looks good. While I'm in a, the zoom mode, can fix up a few other little things. That like that. What I did here. Oh, I know. It's uh, that. Looks good. This is just a a wire overlay with a couple of. Solder, solder balls or if you want to make little lead castings the same with the rest here uh, throughout the pattern what I'm doing is I'm just finalizing the pattern it, it was late when I was working on it come on now This can be frustrating. Oh, I know, I gotta... Yep. Selecting that. I wanna select that. There we go. That. It's now curved. Clean it up a little bit. This is fine. This one. Bring that in a little bit. Make sure everything looks nice. Up here. Okay. It's pretty clean. difference anywhere but close that up just 
complete pattern was done on my Mac using line elements uh, I've explained it in another video you know how it's done like that. looks good this guy over here there make sure all these are lined up well I mean, you don't have to put these but uh, they're, they're intended to be uh, a form of decorative soldering where you know you have your, your pieces are complete throughout like this line would follow underneath uh, and then this would be layered on top and soldered you know tacked in so that's what we're going for here did a little up here you know just to make make it a little different all right. This is a little concerning here, but I think that's fine. I need a, need that little jump for depth. Got a little issue right here. Clean that up. Bring it in. Okay. does that it can be annoying you have to grab it in the right spot otherwise the software thinks you're trying to type which we're not I'll bring it right down it's gonna end up there anyway that's fine all right Let me zoom back down 125. I'm not going to bring you into doing all the numbering, but uh, simply by adding a text, you can uh, change that text. We're going to be probably in the, the 12 range because of these thin pieces here. Uh, size it up. even though you know I would suggest or recommend that some of the uh, you know pieces like this number one would be a jewel but I'm, I'm gonna just number it and I hit copy command C paste it you can see that this one I mean it could be off but you just want to get the number in there so when you want to really fine tune it, you could squeak it over with the directional keys on the bottom of the keyboard. Next to the numbers, it's up, down, left, right. You move this around. And paste again. You know, numbering takes a, a long time to do. As you can see, sometimes you, you move it along. Five's a little high, so I'm going to select it, hit the down button once. Each time I, I get the number down, it's command V, V as in Victor, that's to paste. So once you have the number in your, in your clipboard, you just command V, just change the number by typing over it. Two clicks, highlights it, and 
change the number. So I got one through nine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, move away from this and finish up the numbering. Just wanted to give you yeah, a little bit more detail on how to do patterns. Uh, you can see that this, uh, I'm going to copy that because here I'm going to go ahead and save this. I have other pages on here, but I'm just going to go. Actually, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to zoom down, click, click up here. You don't want to select this. You click outside it. You drag the mouse as you click down. That's going to select all these elements. Select it. We're going to copy it. I'm going to file new blank. I'm going to paste it. Right. Everything moved over fine. And what we're going to do is up here, we're going to change the name. Well, I'm going to copy it again now. Copy. Man C. It's highlighted. All right, we got Dream Catcher Hoop. It's going to save it in my cloud. But you can see that it now changed to that. Uh, the name here, adding to the pattern. You know, I put a little little buttons you can click on to go to my website and what have you. In PDF, it, it allows you to do uh, add links, like a hyperlink, they call it. So when you click on it in a PDF, it'll actually open your web browser and allow you to go to wherever you have this hyperlink. Uh, I like I like to you know point to my home website. I don't, I don't like to play games. There's sometimes a uh, in the pattern itself, if you want to protect your IP, a good way to do that, because people stop printing them up without being authorized to do so, you put a QR code up here. I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna open up one recently to, to show it. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna get one that has the QR code right here. It's up in my cloud, so it saves me a lot of space. This here, this is going to, you know, take a picture of that, it's going to take you to my website. So I'm going to hit that, hold down the shift key, and I'll get a size, get my PDF, and I, I got, already got that, so I'm going to copy this. Dreamcatcher, paste it, and uh, when you're doing all this navigation stuff, you know, bring it down to 100%, so you can see the whole page. You know, obviously, it's not six and a half, six by eight and a half. I haven't decided on the size yet. This one will most likely be a uh, a PDF where you can print it to 150 percent so whatever this comes up up to be uh, the, the size of the actual pattern see it's going to select that now I don't want this so you hold down the shift key click on it so I'm just selecting this and what I'm going to do is group it and though it's giving me the height including the hair I mean that's okay Basically, it's showing. Why did it not select this? Um, I know why, because that's a it's a border. That's fine. That's just showing the the width of the frame. Um, anyway, so basically, the width is 5.9. I make it six. For easy math, uh, 
the height you, you can't see it it's like just about ten and a half inches um, it's going to be less than ten and a half because of this basically you take this from a PDF print it to 150 percent or tile it I might even in, in this case include a PDF file here with the uh, the larger format pattern so you could blueprint it uh, you could tile print it I'll give a bunch of options but uh, basically this this is six so if someone wants one 12 inches wide you could double it you want it nine inches wide which is a nice size 150 percent so um, what I'm going to do is 10 point 10 and a quarter 6 by 10, 10. I'm going to call that the, the base size. Just so no confusion. So six by ten and a quarter is your base. So again, if you want to enlarge it, you can enlarge it. I just want to put a, a few little, you know, notations of what's going on. So I just copied this thing. You paste it. Reason why it doesn't matter because though though it is, it says what this says. Just click on the whole thing, and I'm, I'm going to write uh, solder ball, and then uh, do that. Copy that. Paste. Let's see. Wire, wire option. You take a uh, little shape tool. It's got an arrow on it. Bring this down. Yeah, you know, we're. It's easier just to get the. Gotta make it edible so you can move it freely. Uh, like that. Go like that. We can move, move the lettering if you want. Basically, it's saying, yeah, that's a solder ball. Copy that. ahead and uh, double click it yeah, just to kind of show them that yeah, that's what you want to do you know, without interrupting the pattern and just give a little information on what you plan on doing this is the wire option I'm going to paste, we have the arrow already in our clipboard. We're going to go ahead and double click, make it edible. And we say wire option. It, what that means, it, basically, this can be a wire, you know, to support these le the leaves, these feathers, or they can be individual pieces which will make this area stronger be more supportive of, of these the feathers but it can be done with you could solder the feathers up here you know, it, very weak without any wire but if you ran the wire and held it it would be fairly strong stronger than just dangling down and again the other option is to make them pieces if you find that that's a little weak in my opinion you should be fine with just the wire 
you know, just just hanging down. There's no uh, structural reasons. You know, uh, it's going to be delicate. It, there's no doubt, going to be delicate. All right, so we got the wire option uh, over here. I'm going to go ahead and do this. Copy that, and then up here, I'm going to grab that. I'm going to say zinc zinc u give a little okay you might want to try zinc I and mean, it could be lead you, you, you could do it out of lead uh, in that case, you do like a a half inch lead. If you use the half inch lead, what I would strongly recommend is taking eighth inch lead, which is very narrow. Put it in a vise, spin it up. You know, it's just going to spin that lead right up, make it tight. Go from here and go all the way to here on the outside of the half inch lead. It'll give you a nice decorative edging on it. If you're going to use lead, you know, the, the flat H lead, it's going to have a, a void, you know, being it's a an H. So, you know, you could pinch it down if you want, but make make it nice so you can run a, a thing of zinc, or, uh, zinc uh, lead twisted. And for that matter, you could also take, say, quarter inch lead, a little heavier, twist that up, and instead of using the zinc or lead, just take the quarter inch that's twisted and run it around. That actually looked really nice. Uh, and you, you keep going. And you, th this would be this wire would actually go down into the structure of the pe of the piece, and then these little blobs are are now layered on top. The solder blobs, or the lead balls, or you could actually use jewels. You know, glass jewels, globs, that's what you want to do, something like that. Uh, I also suggested that all of these round elements, you can take some copper sheet. They sell a sheet of copper foil, and you, you cut circles, and you stick it on top where you want it before you solder. And you know, it's got glue on the back, you stick it where you want it. So when you're soldering everything, the solder will take the shape of that copper. It's actually a, a nice way of doing it. A lot of folks don't have, <coughs> excuse me, have access to a copper sheet. It also can be done with the same hooping material, say an 18 gauge wire. You make, you put it on something that's round, it's gonna give you consistent diameter. What do you need, one, you need eight, 16 uh, you know make smaller ones here twist them up put the wire over over the top you know after it's soldered and then you, know, you make sure the seam of, seam of the wire is along one of your solder lines and then what, once you tack that wire down you just take solder you fill, fill inside it's going to give you a nice uh, consistent let's say a hard edge because the wire holds the uh, shape, it's not going to drip away, say if you just use solder. And then the solder itself will stick to that wire. Uh, it's actually, a, a, that would probably be my first go-to, you know, instead of worrying about copper foil tape and, you know, jewels, if you put a jewel, you're going to see what, the lines behind it. You want to try to make solder balls, solder blobs, lead, that's you could do that but you know in hindsight I should have said right out of the gate just make you know around make a circle like you would making these little hoops make a round circle put the seam of that circle on a line and then make sure it's down good tack it good there tack it tack it and then just put solder on the inside 
that would actually work, in my opinion, the best. I uh, just want to do a little quick pattern update. Something happened here. Something happened. We had a, a, a renegade. Okay. This is weird. It's sent it back. Why did you not transfer? It's all right. For some reason during the transfer, it didn't hold itself. Back here, and that back. Nice about working with the computer with patterns. See what I just did without any issues. I could I could fine tune that movement just with the you know, the keys up, down, sideways. You, you could leave it like that. But the, this, you see a lot, they, they, they just hang anywhere from these dream catches. That just hangs some random beads. I, this is just giving you an idea. You could take the same pro, you know, process here with a wire. You know, you could put one up here if you want. You could you know, dress it up. You could put a real feather on there if you want. But I hope you like this design. It's uh, something I've been wanting to do. It's, I mean, I, it's just a very common dream catcher format but um, I put my my little touch on it uh, you, you can do away with this circle here I had somebody already bring that up I mean I don't know you tell me see circle no circle actually do no circle. Do less pieces. You could actually take this circle and make it out of a piece of wire and put it on top. You know, um, when it comes to decorative soldering, you know, with the you know, fancy drips and drabs, uh, decorative soldering does not end with just fancy soldering. You know, you got decorative soldering is also you know, other embellishments, either it be wire, blobs, what have you. So it, 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 I guess it would be decorative embellishments done with wire. You got decorative embellishments done with lead or solder. So technically, decor, uh, decorative soldering is a process. You know, the all different styles of just the way you use the iron and the the higher uh, tin solder, like 6337 solder, it's uh, commonly used because the, the quick f freeze rate, where 6040 would, you know, if you go near it with the iron, you're gonna melt it, or uh, it's just, it's easier for decorative soldering. I I didn't really do much of that. I I really I don't think I did any. My mom played with it. I, all my stuff stuff was just kind of cut, foil, and go. Uh, on that note, I'm going to turn this one off, and if you did get anything out of it, if you want to get the pattern, it will be available on my Etsy page sometime today, Monday, September 23rd. Take care.